first topic of the day, let's go ahead and talk and uh, talk a little sports here. Clemson wide receiver Justin Ross is going to be out for the season. Now, I brought this, this up to you. Tough. Uh, Brown Yeti jumps in on YouTube, said, what's up? Uh, ben said, we're going to make fun of Kirby Smart today. <laughs> we will give Kirby the day off. Yeah. We beat him up pretty bad Friday, uh, Saturday. Yeah. I will tell you, uh, Friday, man, Georgia Twitter. Uh, they are a, a little sensitive. They're fiery. They're fiery. A little sensitive. They beat me up pretty good this weekend for but just. Wouldn't you be if you hadn't won a national title in 40 years? No, I don't think I would. I'm just saying. They they they, no. they some serious folk down here in Georgia, man. I I ain't gonna fight them for it. I mean, I'm telling you, I I enjoy uh, the back and forth with Georgia. Fans. No, I don't mind. I it. love Georgia. I didn't fans. mind it at all. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So so Clemson wide receiver Justin Ross, he's out for the season. I talked to you about this last week, maybe a week and a half ago, about how he was discussing the idea of having surgery, and how ridiculous it kind of seemed because. You know, at the time, we didn't know he was going to be out for the year. We didn't really know anything because back in spring training, and Clemson's one of the few teams that actually got some practices in, they talked about him having a stinger. Dabo came out and said it wasn't anything serious, no reason to worry. It's not going to be a big deal. Turns out he was born with congenital fusion, which is a spine injury. So he, he's having spinal surgery, basically, this coming Friday. Uh, ben jumps in. He said, Dabo said there's a chance he won't ever play again. Uh, that's that's insane. That's, that's going like, to be tragic. A hundred percent. It was first reported, and it was you know it was talked about during the press conference, but it was reported by Grace Rayner at The Athletic. She, uh, she covers Clemson for them. Uh, the only wide receiver with real game experience is Amari Rodgers. That's it. Now, Trevor Lawrence, he's a fantastic quarterback, but you you got to have some weapons, you know. And now I don't think this is going to hurt. I'm certain their... they have recruits come in that are yes. pretty highly talented, and you and me know that you can have plenty of freshmen and sophomores step up that have never position. touched the field before that are super highly rated four star, five star kids that are freak athletes that can do just fine in college football. It sucks for the kid. I'm not worried about Clemson. Clemson's got unbelievable talent. They are the most talented team in the ACC, and it is not close. And by the I'm time they have Clemson. to play a real team, uh, now they do play Notre Dame this year, but that's that's November. So by yeah. that point, um, all of those guys are going to be fine. They're all, they're not going to be freshmen anymore. So this isn't a massive issue, but it is a big issue because it's Justin Ross. Uh, he is he's a uh, it's junior. big for him. It's a big deal for him. And I'm upset about it for him. I think it's still a big deal for Clemson because you don't have that guy right now that Trevor Lawrence is used to. The guy that he has chemistry with, right? So it I don't think they're in any danger of getting beat at any point early in the season. That's that's just not gonna happen. There is no Texas A and M on the schedule. There is no, you know, they they play November uh whatever against Notre Dame. That's the the biggest game on the schedule, basically, other than Florida State, and we still don't know what Florida State is going to be. So Florida State's early, and I mean, yeah, we as much as we love Michael Norvell, Bell, yeah, I mean, his first year, he's going to have to just clean house for so many of those kids. You got that right. So it it's a, a scary situation for Ross. Um, we don't know exactly what it's going to mean for the skill position and whatnot at uh, at Clemson. Uh, Amari Rogers is going to have to take over in a Big, big way. Uh, and he was, you know, he was good last year. But, you know, how good? I, I, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But that's, uh, that's a massive story considering Dabo was telling us, you know, just a couple of short months ago that it was no big deal. It was just a stinger. And he was going to be fine. Uh, now we don't know if he's ever going to play again. And that is uh, just a tragic situation there for him. Let's. Uh, 